What's up guys, Alec Akiri here. And today I want to talk about something that's been irking me a little bit lately. There's been all this talk of fake plates going around YouTube Fitness these past few weeks. And just as a brief reminder before I get into it today, but like I said in my deadlift challenge video to Athlean X a couple weeks ago, I do not personally believe for one single second that Jeff used fake weights to make himself appear stronger than he is to his audience. It's an absolutely ludicrous and baseless claim that would destroy his integrity if it were found out to be true. And this is precisely why I offered him my deadlift challenge in the first place, as it provides an incredibly easy way for him to nip this whole thing in the bud by responding to a simple challenge issue directly to him, rather than by addressing faint or indirect whispers. The former provides a much easier and cleaner out than the latter. In my opinion, of course. Bitch. But I digress. I just want to make sure that everyone is absolutely certain about where I stand on this issue before, per usual, my words get skewed and one of our special friends makes an appearance to try to ream me a new asshole. Now at this point, many of you guys have seen the recent video by the now infamous Curling X, where he provides what he's claiming as definitive proof that Jeff has used fake weights on multiple occasions during heavy lifting demonstrations on his channel from a few years ago. And there are a lot of people agreeing with Curling X's argument here. They do think that the weights are fake, even where Jeff is telling us that it's 495 pounds on the bar during his deadlift sis, so there's absolutely no confusion there but they simply don't believe that he's telling the truth. And the number of people in agreement with this argument seems to be growing by the day. And that's all one thing, but it's not really what I want to discuss here today because it would be incredibly simple for Jeff to completely shut this argument down in about five seconds by just pulling a heavy deadlift. He's done it before on camera. It's basically part and parcel of being a fitness professional anyway, so whatever. That doesn't even need to be addressed because the solution to it is too simple. No, instead, it's the counter argument to this claim that I find most interesting of all. As Jeff's fans rise to his defense in these trying times, it has led to some very, very interesting mental gymnastics in defense of and rationalizing the use of fake weights in the fitness industry. And that is really what I want to talk about today. So much to my chagrin, I found myself on the AthleanX subreddit the other day, browsing through a thread discussing this very topic. And let me tell you, while that place is fucking cancer, I did happen to learn some new perspectives during my brief stint over there. For example, someone posted a link to this recent Curly and X video on that subreddit and it generated some chatter. And surprisingly, you did actually have some people beginning to question Jeff's list, even on that subreddit. But there was still an inordinate amount of bullfit being spewed in defense of and justifying the use of fake weights. And like I said, I don't believe that Jeff has used fake weights, but if hypothetically he did, then frankly, and I'm sure most of you here will agree with me in this assertion, that would be fucking inexcusable. However, that did not stop his supporters from making arguments such as these. So based on these comments, in the minds of these individuals, there is clearly a level of infallibility at play here. If you've already made up your mind that someone could outright lie to your face and that would have absolutely no impact on your current opinion of that person, that's a very odd sort of thing. It's a very odd sort of admiration. With this guy, for example, you literally have him proclaiming that even if there were no question at all that Jeff was lying about the weights he was lifting, he still would not consider that outright lie to be an act of dishonesty. How does that make any sense at all? Jeff says right here in this video that this is, quote, 
almost 500 pounds on the bar during his deadlifts, and I'll let you guys hear that clip for yourselves. Now as we get up here touching sort of almost at 500 pounds, now as we get up here touching sort of almost at 500 pounds, touching sort of almost at 500 pounds, touching sort of almost at 500 pounds. Now the question at play here is of course whether those are five real plates or approximately 495 pounds actually on the bar or rather if it is actually something substantially less than that. But this guy here is perfectly fine with stating on a public forum that even if it's not 495 pounds on the bar, but Jeff tells me it's 495 pounds on the bar, it still wouldn't be dishonest or be a lie in this case. And that's just weird, man. That's just a weird level of admiration that you have to have for someone you don't even know and have never even met to somehow make that rationalization seem acceptable or normal in your head. The next argument supplied by many of his supporters is basically all just different variations of the same thing, which is who gives a shit if he's using fake weights? Because I can tell by looking at him that he knows what he's talking about. And this one is interesting because for one thing, one of the main arguments presented by many of the channels who have previously defended Athlean X in the past is that how you look and how you perform do not equate to knowledge accrued in terms of fitness expertise. Otherwise, not a single person on the planet would listen to a word that shredded sports science says. According to these channels though, educational credentials, which Jeff has in spades, equate directly to knowledge obtained. However, looking a certain way or performing a certain way yourself has no bearing whatsoever on whether or not the information that you put out is valuable or not valuable. And that specific argument is the basis for how they tear down pretty much all of the popular cookie cutter fitness channels that they disagree with or who they don't like on a personal level or who are simply not athlean x so it's interesting to see the inverse argument constantly now being proposed by athlean x fans as a means of defending him during these trying times that is to say because jeff is shredded year round he looks like he knows what he's talking about so therefore he must know what he's talking about even though we've all accepted that other people who look like they know what they're talking about don't necessarily have any idea what they're talking about so i just thought i would point out the little hypocrisy which is readily apparent there the main point i want to touch on today though hits a little bit closer to home for me see even if we ignore the fact that lifting a certain weight is a form of credentializing yourself because otherwise, well, why would anyone bother using fake plates? And that includes during promos or for advertisement purposes. But if people think you possess a certain level of strength that you don't actually possess, that makes you appear more adept at the skill of barbell training than you actually are. By proxy, making whatever program or supplement that you're selling appear more effective than it actually is. It gives you a leg to stand on that makes it look like you've been doing this properly for a long time. You've done your due diligence and you know what the fuck you're talking about. That is why someone would use fake plates. And even if you've somehow convinced yourself that there's nothing grimy or dishonest about that, regardless of the individual who may be partaking in this duplicitous behavior, because if you extend it to one person, you have to extend it to everybody, it is, at its very core, convincing people to shell out their hard-earned dollars in your direction by means of a claim that was based on non-factual information, which, Last time I checked was the very definition of lying. And you can make of that whatever you want. Personally, I think it's immoral. And I don't think that that sort of behavior should be tolerated. But even if we ignore all of that, the biggest problem for me with a fitness icon potentially using fake weights is that it's simply a massive insult, a cold, hard slap in the motherfucking face to all of those people who have actually earned that level of strength. These drones here on Reddit cannot possibly comprehend that notion because they know nothing about weight training as a craft. They just want to get ripped in 23 days and get in a little bit better shape. It's, it's like a course for them. It's transient. It has an expiration date. So they go on YouTube or Google and they stumble across Athlean X and he promises them the moon in just six minutes a day and they eat it right up. But what they're not considering is that this, the endeavor of barbell training, like anything else worth pursuing, is a craft. 
And there are men and women who devote their entire lives to mastering it. It's not some 22 day, six minute per day endeavor. And to use deception to indicate that you've achieved a certain level of mastery in that craft when you really have not would not only be incredibly disrespectful to the level of time, effort, commitment, and spirit exemplified by the individuals who have reached that level of mastery in this specific endeavor, but it would also be a slap in the face to the human spirit and human perseverance in general. Anyone, anywhere, in any specialty who has committed the time and effort required to master a craft should be a offended by this notion to their very core. It's a diminishment to the concept of earned achievement and the acquisition of expertise. Would their attitude be so cavalier, no pun intended, if it were a question of, for example, a veterinary oncologist masquerading as a doctor of oncology? Sure, the vet has experience with medicine, there's definitely some overlap between the two professions, and to the layperson, he sounds like he knows what he's talking about when it comes to the human body. But would you really want him guiding you through your cancer treatment? Would you really not consider a professional who's trained in the treatment of animals, but who also pretends to be trained in the treatment of humans, to be dishonest? or a liar, and when the truth finally came to light, would oncologists as a whole just shrug their shoulders and say, oh well, no one else besides us can tell the difference anyway, so who cares? Somehow, I think the answer to all of these questions is a resounding no. And look, there is no shame in not being brutally strong. Most people are not brutally strong, even those that work out consistently. It takes an incredible amount of commitment, singular-minded focus, effort, time, thought, and hard work to become brutally strong. And while it is a worthy endeavor to pursue and a valiant quality to possess, the process of its acquisition is by no means for everybody. And there's absolutely no shame in failing to get there or or simply choosing from the get-go that the sacrifices required to get there simply do not align with your long-term goals. However, there absolutely is shame in deliberately misleading people into thinking that you've achieved a certain level of mastery in a particular skill and therefore, by proxy, have demonstrated the ability to consistently display the physical and mental characteristics required to achieve that level of mastery. And as well have put in the time, thought, and effort required to get there. And anyone, anywhere, who's ever busted their ass with 10 years of gut-wrenching hard work to earn something that is not so easily earned should be offended by this notion to their very core. To shrug it off as a non-issue indicates that you not only likely do not possess a drive to ever achieve anything of note yourself, but also demonstrates that you lack any appreciation for those individuals who have, as well as for the spirit of human achievement in general. And to use the tired excuse that anyone who takes a contentious stance on this issue is simply jealous of someone else's business success is deluded, sad, and void of any and all ability to think critically or objectively about the situation. Jealousy would not be the applicable term here. If these accusations were true, it would be and should be taken as an insult by all parties, not just the experts whose particular particular field has been belittled, or even experts in general, but also to the consumers who've had the wool pulled over their eyes and been duped by it. So that's the problem with someone using fake weights. And like I said earlier, this has all been one big thought experiment for me. I don't buy the argument that Jeff has been using fake weights, but the responses by some of his fans to that question even being raised were very, very troubling to me. The mental gymnastics at play here are pretty astounding, and operating under that kind of logic, it's a wonder that these people can even get out of their houses in the morning without hurting themselves. And while I'm sure that none of the people who wrote the comments in question will be swayed at all by this video, at least some people who are willing to take a step back for a moment and actually try to take an objective look at things will have a better understanding of why someone who is entrenched in the world of barbell training would potentially find this notion to be so offensive. So hopefully a few people will heed these words and in the end, we can all understand each other just a little bit better. Anyway, that's all I got for today, guys. Please be sure to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
and definitely leave me some love in the comments down below. Keep training hard, and I'll catch you guys next time.